NIPT, Non-Invasive Prenatal Testing. This is the second video of our prenatal genetic testing series. So just as a recap, we said that there are two main types of tests, screening and diagnostic tests. So far we have discussed screening tests, and an IPT is another one of these. An IPT uses cell-free fetal DNA to test for genetic conditions. Essentially what happens is that fetal DNA is shed from the trophoblast and present within the maternal bloodstream. In fact, around 10% of DNA present in the maternal circulation is actually fetal. Therefore, a blood test is taken from the mother. This can be reliably measured beyond 10 weeks gestation. Then, copies of chromosomes are assessed and quantified in the mother and the fetus, possibly finding a higher proportion of, for example, chromosome 21 from the fetal DNA, pointing towards possible Down syndrome. The result will come back indicating risk, therefore high risk or low risk of having the condition. So once again, I'm reminding you that this is a screening test and cannot give a confirmation of the diagnosis. But as we are going to see shortly, it is very sensitive. One thing to keep in mind is that the sensitivity of an IPT is decreased in the case of a twin pregnancy because of the unique challenges presented in the presence of DNA from three constituents this time. So now let's compare these screening tests. So in this table, we're going to be having a look at their detection rates and false positive rates. Starting off with the first trimester combined test. So this has a detection rate of 90% and the false positive rate of 5%. Now the second trimester screening test, so the triple test, has a detection rate of 65 to 70% and the false positive rate of 5% while the quadruple test has a detection rate of 70 to 75% and the false positive rate of 5%. Now for the NIPT, this has got a detection rate of 99% and the false positive rate of 0.1%. So very clearly over here, we can see that in comparison, the NIPT is the most sensitive test. One thing to keep in mind, however, is that this test comes at quite a hefty cost and is currently not being offered by the NHS in Malta or in the UK. So as we've said, these are all screening tests. Therefore, to confirm the diagnosis, we need to offer diagnostic tests. Stay tuned for the next video in this series. Like and subscribe.